Hello people with the spirit of learning, this is Angga and I'm welcoming you back into my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're gonna learn about the Firebase Firestore, but before that, we have to setting up the Firebase. So make sure that uh, you were watching my video, of how do we design the application that over here I'm going to show you. Okay, so if I clear and open again you'll see there is animation and there is the beautiful design okay so you could uh, come into my videos there are a couple of videos that you could follow to create this kind of design okay so basically after you're finishing those videos or maybe you don't really want to start from the zero it doesn't matter i provide those project so you could just follow this github and download or even you can just uh, get it from the uh, git okay so let's get started so this is the android studio and i'm logging with my email here okay so with this kind of email that I'm able to connect my project into the Firebase. So if you're not familiar with the Firebase and what Firebase is, so basically Firebase is a service from the Google that help us to create a beautiful application with a lot of function like a dynamic function, even like the notification and then for the cloud storage and real-time database okay so i'm going to bring i'm going to bring you through of this kind of service that we're gonna build the dynamic apps that integrate with the firebase okay and this is my firebase console i got two projects this is my client's project and this is my personal and we're gonna create new project here but not from here because android has plugin has feature that allow us to create a project in firebase without even using this website okay so basically there is tools and firebase okay so they will open the new window that we called assistant so with this assistant we could use all of those features from the Firebase remotely and by clicking without any single code experience. So you'll see uh, number one is analytics. So we could just uh, follow up the user activity and engagement, right? But as for now, we don't need to use this analytics. We need the Firestore. So there is Firestore, the latest one, and just click the link here, and you will get a couple of steps that you have to follow from the Google, okay? So first of all, we have to connect into the Firebase, and here we go, this window will appear after you connect into your Firebase, okay? So you can create new Firebase project, and you could also to choose the existing one but i suggest you to create new firebase project because if you choose the existing one and the uh, and there is the existing database it would be overwritten right so make sure you create new firebase project and just connect okay so it is done after connected it will be give you the verified okay and after we connect into the firebase we could just follow the step number two to add the cloud fly firestore into our app right so over here just add cloud firestore into your app and it will you give it will give you the gradle uh, build so actually you can uh, come over here and you just write manually here but 
since we are using this assistant we don't have to we just need to add cloud firestore here and just accept changes and it will write automatically so we don't have to looking for the correct version for our apps okay so it's still loading on it and it will write this firestore make sure you're watching this gradle to see the changes okay so once you get this firestore you will notice that this firestore has the yellow background so means that if every single implementation has this yellow background means that there is the new version of that thing okay so over here i will uh, make it i will update into the latest one which is uh, 17 1 2 2 but we have to use 19 okay so what we're gonna do in the windows or in the mac you can use option and enter and change to 19 okay so right now it's 19 but the one last step you have to sync otherwise it couldn't work okay so you you have to sync and wait for a couple minutes so right now your project is ready to go which means that you're able to use the firebase firestore into your app okay but i'm going to show you in the next video and as for now when you come back into the firebase console you could just refresh it and you'll see that you created a new project that based on your app this one okay so here you'll see there's a lot of features that we could use in the firebase to improve our apps to growing up the quality like a b testing cloud messaging in app messaging wow pretty nice right and right now we don't have any data because we haven't connected the function we connected the firebase but we don't have any function that we are going to use as for now so i'm going to show you in the next video okay and this is the database that we're gonna use it later on okay so there is cloud firestore and this is the real-time database well i was using this real-time database but not longer more okay because i'm moving on into the cloud firestore the cloud firestore has a lot of features than real-time database okay so i'll see you in the next video thank you very much my name is anga